Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about windows uh, in Encursus. Um, to start out, we'll just have our initial initialized screen, uh, wait for user input, and end Encursus. So the basic template for any Encursus um, program. And let's just show what that looks like uh, again. So we'll run our program, which I just have called hello. But yeah, so basically just empty screen, waits for user input, and then exits. So. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to create what's called a window, and windows are aptly named window, and uh, it's a variable type, and uh, they're pointers. And if you don't know what a pointer is, uh, this is not a C++ tutorial, so go check out what pointers are. Um, there should be tutorials online, but um, we're going to call this variable win. So we're going to create a window variable, or a window pointer called win. Now, um, right now we haven't actually made a window, we've just made a pointer to a window which is null. Um, by default it's just set to null, a null pointer. But um, if we want to create a new window, we use a function called new win. And it takes four parameters, it takes the height, the width, the start x, or start y, and start x. Um, just a reminder, coordinate systems in um, n curses always start with y and uh, end with x, so y comes first. And I'm only making these variables so that it's easier for you guys to understand um, what values are going where, but um, you could just input numbers for these, but it just makes things easier to visualize here if we use variables. So, uh, let's say we make our height, um, we'll make it 10 uh, lines high. Uh, again, these are all in lines or columns, so that's not like pixels, it's 10 lines, is the height of it. And width, we'll make it, let's say 20. Uh, we'll have start y and start x both be equal to 10, so uh, simple enough. And uh, let's run this and see what we get. Let's, let's, maybe we'll see something. Um, so we'll make it and we'll run, but we don't see anything. And that makes sense because we just created a window, we didn't put anything in it, we didn't do anything. So. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll do what's called, um, we, there's a cool function called uh, box, which will basically just put a border around the, a very basic border around our window, and uh, I'll put it to the screen. So it takes two parameters, it takes, or three parameters, it takes the window, and it takes two integer values. So let's run this and see what we get. So we'll make that again, we'll do hello, and that's weird, we don't see anything. Um, and this is where our conversation about refresh comes in. So, basically, there are two... You have to almost think about the screen, what's displayed on the screen and what's in memory as two different things. So, as you're changing things with, like, functions here, new win, box, everything gets changed in memory, but what's shown to the screen doesn't change necessarily. Uh, so, this is so that you can work on things and, say, while you're working on things, you don't want everything to show up while you're working on it. Uh, it only will show up once you refresh the screen. So, in order to do that, first, after we create this window, we want to refresh the screen, the whole screen, using a function called just refresh with no parameters. This refreshes the entire screen, so the screen knows we created a new window, and it displays it. Then, what we want to do down here is there's another function called w refresh, which refreshes a specific window, and this will refresh just the window that we created. Um, so that basically what ends up happening is we make the window, we refresh the screen, so the whole screen, so it knows that the window has been created. Then we make the box and we refresh the window so it represents the box on the screen. So this should display a box. So if we make this and print hello, or do hello, you'll see we get a box. And it's formatted really nicely, very basically though, it just has corners and stuff. Uh, there are ways to change the way this looks, but that'll be for future tutorials. Um, and now let's try to output to this this window. So we can output to this window, to a specific window, by using wprintw, which stands for window print w. Um, it takes two parameters. It takes window and then uh, const char star. So we'll just say this is my box. Uh, your mind out of the gutter. Um, <laughs> So if we uh, make that and run it, we should see nothing. Huh, that's weird. Hold on, maybe I didn't save. And we'll exit there. And, oh, no, I know why. It's because we 
the box overwrote the the text. So let's put it after we put box. We'll make the file and run it. There you go. So now we see that um, it's put it in the top left corner. Though we we kind of want it inside the box, and the reason that is is because print w or w print w just like regular print w uh, just prints wherever the cursor currently is, and by default within this window it will go to the top left corner which is quote unquote zero zero within the box or within the um, the window so you have to think of cursors as window relative so when you move into a new window and you're using a window function like this which is specific to a window um, the cursor zero zero for the cursor is the top left corner of that window so there's another function called move w print w <laughs> um, if that isn't a mouthful, I don't know what is, which uh, takes a window and then where within the window you'd like to move before you print the text. So we'll just move it to 1, 1, which should get us below the, um, the box corner edge thing. Um, so we'll make that and we'll run it. And there you go. It's within the box. So um, that's the basics of Windows. We'll go into more depth on Windows later on. But um, I hope that's made sense to you, and we'll see you in the future tutorial.